Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another clean with me. Today we're going to be in the bathroom giving it a deep clean, but first I'm picking up some things from the store to try out for the first time in the bathroom. So if you need some motivation, just keep watching. <laughs> So I thought if I would go into Walmart, I would find a bunch of stuff, but they were so low in stock there. But I managed to pick up just a few things. The first thing is the Scrubbing Bubbles Starter Kit for the toilet. Apparently the refills are flushable, so we'll see how this works out. I found this 7th generation disinfecting multi-surface spray. Can't wait to try this out, see how it smells, see if it's annoying, or if it's streaky. I will let you guys know all of that. I picked up a new glass cleaner. I've never tried this one before. It's by Sprayway. It's ammonia free and it's a foaming spray. I heard this one was really good. So we're gonna be trying this one out today. Last but not least, I picked up some cleaning gloves by O Cedar. I've never tried this brand of gloves before. So we're gonna be testing these out. All right, so here's our bathroom before we get started. Just a little look. I know you guys like a before and after, and I will say it's not terrible just because there's not a ton of countertop space for it to get too gross and nasty, but I haven't done a deep clean in this bathroom in a long time, and you know when you don't do a deep clean in a long time, when you're in person in that bathroom, you can see the nastiness. I have makeup all over the rugs. There's hair all over the floor. The countertops need a really good scrub. The mirrors are gross. The tub isn't bad because my son takes a bath in there all the time, so we do try to keep that clean throughout the week but I need to clean my shower from top to bottom. I try to get up close to the shower glass so you guys can see the soap scum, but the reflection I guess was not having that. But just know that she's there and she's rude. So the first thing I like to do when I do a deep clean in my bathroom is throw all of the towels and rugs in the washing machine. So that's taken care of. So when I'm done deep cleaning my bathroom, I have clean towels and rugs. So I'm actually really liking this glass cleaner. I like that it's a foam so it's not running all over the place. The smell wasn't super strong. It's bearable. It was really streaky at first and I think it's because I was using a microfiber cloth but when it dried, it dried so clear. So I'm definitely going to be using this all the time. Tell so deep under my spell. Sorry, not sorry that I'm no help. Cause I'm full of myself. Boy, don't you worry. You'll find someone, someone who wants you back. But that is not me. So, so I'm using the multi-surface spray that I showed you guys earlier by seventh generation. And it says you don't have to wipe it once you spray it. I don't know why I feel like I have to wipe things once I spray them, especially in the bathroom when there's makeup and things on the countertop. So I'm just going to wipe it up anyway. The smell isn't like the best thing you've ever smelled. It's doable. It's not terrible. And it does not linger, which is good. I might be trying this out in my kitchen.
so I decided to test out the glass cleaner on my faucets and they came out really shiny. So I started to wipe the cabinets down with a magic eraser, but it seemed like it was starting to take some of the paint off. We did get our cabinets painted, so the magic eraser wasn't the best thing to use up here. So I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth. Alright, so on to my little spinning organizer, which I love. I got it from Amazon a couple of years ago. Now I want something a little bit bigger, but has more drawers and a little bit prettier than this because we don't have as much countertop space in this bathroom as we did in our last bathroom. So I need something with drawers and our drawers in our bathroom now are so tiny and almost useless. So I can't store a lot of things in there. So I need something with a little bit more space, something that's a little bit prettier. I found this one at Home Goods for $24.99. The top is removable, which is nice, but I'm gonna keep it just like this for now. Everything that's going into this organizer is my everyday skincare, makeup products. So I'm just gonna rearrange everything in a way that it makes sense to me. I'm also dying to reorganize underneath our sink in here, but that'll be in a different video. Alright, moving on to the tub, I'm using the Scrubbing Bubbles Grime Fighter. I've had this for a while and I do like this stuff. It works really good. So I'm just going to spray it all around and then I'm just going to wipe it right up. I'm not going to let it sit for a while because like I said earlier, the bathroom tub is not terrible. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe and then we're going to move on. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars in the shower, I'm just going to remove everything with the exception of my little hanging organizer that's on my wall that just holds some extra little products that I'm not too worried about. And I'm using that same grime fighter that I used in the tub. And I'm just spraying that on the floors and the walls and the little seating area right here.
So I decided to use the grime fighter on my shower doors and glass and I'm just going to spray it all over. Then I'm going to use the rough side of my scrub daddy and just go in circular motions kind of breaking up the dried on soap or the soap scum and I'm just going from top to bottom then I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to use my squeegee after I rinse it so I can get rid of all of that water. So I didn't have to use the grime fighter on the outside of my glass, obviously because there's not a lot of soap or anything on the outside. So I'm just going to be using the glass cleaner on the outside and just wiping that down with a microfiber cloth. A million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. usually save the bathroom for last or cleaning the toilet last so I am taking out the scrubbing bubbles thing that I showed you guys and it's interesting because there's four in here you have to break off each little square and these are flushable so we're gonna try it out comes with this little thing right here before cleaning inside the toilet I'm gonna work my way from top to bottom on the toilet with my Clorox bleach spray I always have to use some kind of bleach on my toilet I cannot use anything else so I use a microfiber cloth sometimes I use paper towels so I can just get rid of it but if I do use a microfiber cloth I always wash that separately so I did end up liking the toilet bowl cleaner I love that you can just get rid of it and flush it right down the toilet and not have to worry about it it was really sudsy there was a lot of cleaner in that little thing this does come with a little stand in case you want to store it in your bathroom just make sure you wipe it down with a Clorox wipe or something after every use because it's been in the toilet Now I'm hanging up some fresh clean towels and some brand new loofahs and then I'm going to sanitize all of the handles and then clean the doors.
is it for today's deep clean. I hope you enjoyed it and got some motivation. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Jeez.